Hello, I'm Carl and this is video number two in my series on Joomla tutorials. Uh, my first video showed how to install Joomla simply in cPanel. This one I'm going to show you how to install Joomla on your computer locally. Um, this makes it a lot easier if you're going to be doing a lot of work on your Joomla website. You can do it right on your own machine rather than uploading files back and forth and that's very time consuming. So working on your lo own local machine is the ideal way to do that. But in order to install Joomla you need to have a server on your computer. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. What we're going to do is download and install something called Womp Server. And this is it here. You go to www.wompserver.com. That's W-A-M-P-S-E-R-V-E-R.com slash E-N. And actually, uh, you can just go to Google and do a Google search under Womp Server. And uh, this will become, come up as uh, your first option, probably. Um, now, Womp Server only works on PCs. Uh, if you have a Mac or Unix-based machine, uh, you can go to this, which is uh, Zamp Sir, or Zamp X A M P P, um, and some people like to use this. Uh, now, this will also work with Windows, uh, but I've never used this before. I've heard lots of great things about it, uh, but this is uh, works with Linux, Windows, OS X, uh, Solaris, uh, and both of these are free, by the way. Um, so here we go. Uh, we're going to click on the download link, and this takes you to, takes us to a couple different options. Now you'll notice that uh, some of them are 32-bit, some of them are 64-bit. You want to make sure that you download the one for your machine. Now the the ones on the bottom here are generally the ones that uh, are the most recent. As you can see here, this has PHP 5.3. This has PHP 5.4. Now what these servers are, uh, this is kind of a, a compilation of different things that you need in order to have a server. Uh, Apache is the server itself, and then MySQL is a database uh, component of that, and then PHP uh, is what drives the, uh, uh, the, the, the code inside the, uh, inside the server, or that, that, that you're going to be generating for uh, for your Joomla website. So um, what we're going to do is download this. I click here and what we come up with this little thing here, warning, blah, blah, blah. Now, uh, one thing you're going to want to do is check and see what version of Visual C++ you have. Uh, the simplest way to do that is to go to Control Panel and uh, you want to go to programs and features and wait for that to do its little thing and you want to go down to Microsoft uh, Microsoft Visual C++ and you want to see what packages of Visual C++ as long as you have Microsoft Visual C++ uh, 2010 and it's two different forms here you're in good shape uh, you can probably even get away with just the the uh, the x86 version here, um, but I've got it on here. And if not, then you you'd probably need to install one of the earlier versions of Womp Server. Um, so that is just a little side note. I'm gonna close that out. Okay. So as long as you're good with that, uh, you don't want to install this over Womp 5. I'm assuming if you're new to this that you uh, do not have WOMP, WOMP 5 on your computer already. It's an older version. Um, and let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. So that's, we're good here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this. You can download it directly right here. Um, and so I click there. And we come up with this other page here. And it's going to download. Uh, should be downloading right now. Okay, there we go. It starts to download, and I'm actually gonna uh, gonna get out of this. Um, I've already downloaded it, but while we're uh, while that's while that's downloading, uh, I'm gonna come over here. Uh, we also need to download Joomla. 
Um, so we're going to come to the Joomla site, uh, www.joomla.org, and we're going to click on the download, or hover over the downloads link here. Uh, we're, no reason why not to install uh, Joomla 3. So I'm going to click on this, uh, Joomla 3 full package, and download Joomla 3 right here. Click on that, and now Joomla 3 is being downloaded as well. So we got both of these being downloaded, and actually, like I say, I downloaded both of them already. Um, you know, I was going to try and save some time, but it looks like they're almost done here. So um, that's all we need from that right now. Now we come to uh, our downloads folder, which is where my downloads are going to. And I'm just to make things simpler, I'm going to delete uh, these duplicates. Um, to install WAMP Server, all you need to do is double click on WAMP Server here. And I'm just going to show you uh, in uh, the file manager. You want to install it on your directly on your C drive so that everything has access to it. Now, uh, WAMP Current, if you see this right here, this is, uh, this is the WAMP server that I've been using and I just renamed it for the purpose of this video. So uh, I'll show you in a little bit where uh, you're going to see WAMP in here as one of the file options. So we double click here and run. And while that's happening, uh, we also need to unpackage Joomla here. So Joomla 3.03, .03, okay, yes, we want to click yes. Uh, Joomla 3, okay, and next, and I accept, and yes, we want it to go to C, WAMP server, next, and create desktop icon, yes, I do. Uh, I don't want a quick launch, but that's up to you. Next, and install. Okay, so that should do its thing. Now, um, we want to right-click on Joomla. Now, you're going to need to have uh, some sort of an unzip program or zip utility on your computer so that you can unzip this. Most modern machines already have it on there. Uh, I use pzip, which is actually a, uh, a free, uh, another free zip utility that I downloaded. You can just do a search under pzip, P-E-A, zip, and uh, you can download that for free if you don't have anything. Um, but all you need to do, right click on here, uh, go to the pzip option there, and extract to here. Now I never know if, if uh, I think I can extract it right into this folder, but I'm going to extract into a new folder. Okay, so Joomla, has Joomla finished? No, it's, uh, this, this is still unzipping. If you have Skype on your computer, there are some conflicts between Skype and WAMP server. So I'm going to show you how to take care of that right now. Um, we go to Tools and Options in Skype, and down in Advanced, click on that, then we go to connection, and it says here use port 80 and 443 as alternatives for incoming connections. We're going to uncheck that because WAMP server use, uses port 80, and if this and WAMP server are both using port 80, then we have some conflicts and that it, things aren't happy. So we save this, yes, and now Skype goes away. Okay, so uh, our Joomla has finished unzipping. If I double click on this, you can see we've got a whole bunch of folders and files in here. And this is the actual Joomla, uh, Joomla website. So we're going to take this and we're going to control, uh, we're going to copy this, control C. And we're going to take it and we're going to put it. Okay, we're going to, uh, in our C folder, or in our C drive, we're going to go to WAMP, and then www, and in this folder is where all your versions of Joomla are going to be. So we're going to paste here, 
and this is our Joomla package. It'll take a little bit to download while we're waiting for that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to install or we're, we're going to start up our server. So in order to do that, uh, if we go down here to our system tray, we can see our server is not on. Uh, double click on the icon on the desktop here and it's going to say, uh, do you want to allow the following program? And we click yes. And this is now down here, you're going to see the WAMP server starting to start up. Okay, and now we should have uh, our Joomla. Uh, where are we at here? We go to our C drive and come down here to WAMP and www and there's our Joomla package let's just open it up make sure everything's in there yes it is let's go back up okay we're gonna name this uh, we'll, we'll call this Carl okay so this is now our Carl website or my Carl website on hosted on my own machine okay so here is WAMP server and WAMP server is online now the first thing we're gonna need to do uh, before we can start our Joomla is to create a database. We're going to do that right here. Uh, just right click on WAMP server in the system tray and uh, click on PHP My Admin. And this will come up in your default browser. Okay, and right here we click on databases. And I'm going to create a new database. We're going to call it Carl and create. Okay, so now we've got our new database here and it has no tables in it at all. Uh, we don't care about that. We're just going to go back to here, uh, go back to databases. And what I want to do is check privileges and see what different uh, users that we have. Um, okay, so we are going to, we have root, root, root as our users. Uh, we're going to add a user and we're going to call this user Carl. Host is localhost. Password is going to be Carl. Password Carl. And privileges. We want to check all and we want to grant all privileges on database Carl and add user. Okay, so we now have a new user Carl, localhost with a password of Carl. And again, uh, if you're doing this on a live server you want to have some secure passwords. All right, so now that that's done, we've got our Carl database with our Carl username with a password of Carl. We are going to start Joomla up. So actually we want to keep our browser open and we go to localhost slash Carl and now our Joomla page starts up here. And so we're going to, in our configuration here, this is going to set up our admin section. This, is, this will get you into the back end of Joomla. Um, so we're going to type in uh, name, site name of Carl. Boy, this is really, uh, I'm really getting wild here, aren't I? Uh, admin email. Okay, admin username. We're going to say... Uh, admin and we're going to use admin. Now again, uh, for security reasons, you want to change both of these when you go live. Uh, you don't want to keep admin as your uh, admin username and you don't want to, you obviously want to have a nice secure password of at least 10 characters uh, with lots of different squiggles and dashes and all kinds of fun stuff in there. And if you have trouble keeping track of your passwords, I highly recommend that you download and install KeePass, K-E-E-P-A-S-S. -S. So now we're going to come here 
A D M I N. And next. Okay, now this is going to set up our database. So we've got uh, default, default username for the database is Carl, password is Carl, and database name is Carl, and table prefix, we are going to keep that the way it is. This is just a random. Uh, randomly generated prefix for the table for the database so that our tables don't get confused or mixed up within uh, MySQL. So uh, next and overview. Okay, now we, we want to double check that uh, we don't have any errors here. Uh, display errors, uh, output buffering. I, these are actually okay. Uh, but you might want to go through and uh, make the make changes to these um, if you have problems on your live site. Um, so this this is actually uh, more for the server than uh, than anything else. So this was something that I need to change in WAMP server, but I'm gonna no, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. So we're gonna say uh, sample data. We do not want to install sample data. Um, and install. And now we should have our nice brand new Joomla website uh, as soon as this finishes up. Now we are going to have to def uh, delete our installation folder and you'll see that in just a few seconds here once this finishes up. Okay, right here, remove installation folder. Click there, installation folder successfully removed. Okay, so we are now ready to go to our site. We can uh, click here or we can click here to go right to, into our uh, admin panel, the back end of Joomla. Uh, I'm going to right click here and uh, open link at new tab and here is our new Joomla website, Joomla 3.0 website. All right, and now we go to, oh, we were just there, sorry. Go back, ah, we're just gonna, we're gonna go to here and we're gonna type in admin. And here we are with Joomla. Admin admin is our password. And log in. All right, so now we're in the Joomla 3.0 backend, and this is a control panel in Joomla 3.0. Uh, we still have the same file structure up top here. Uh, we've got our users, we've got our menu options. We can create as many menus as we want. Uh, we can create categories and articles. Uh, here's some other options. And here's our template manager, plugin manager, and module manager. Okay, so template manager, let's just open this up. And one of the things you'll notice in Joomla 3, if you're not familiar with it, is that you've got some different templates here. You still have the Bees 3, if you want to use that, and the Hawthor. Uh, but uh, you've got Isis for administrator, and you've got ProStar, or Protostar, as the uh, the site template. So that is how you install Joomla on a local host using WAMP server. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you much.